Hello, welcome to part two of this Getting Started with VATSIM video. I have now uh, started up at gate 21 at Gatwick and uh, we're now going to fully demo interacting with air traffic on the ground, tower and hopefully uh, departures frequency. So I'm recording this uh, in one go. So apologies now if there's any mess ups, I'll just try and carry on for the sake of the exercise. Uh, but let's get inside and get things started up. Okay, it's definitely cold and dark, so let's get the external power on. The aid is. Uh, I'm not going, uh, by all means, uh, follow me through, but uh, this is not um, a cold and dark startup exercise. This is a obviously an air traffic um, demo, so if I speed through this quickly, then, um, then that's why. Okay, and we're good. I won't put seatbelt signs on until we're refueled, and I will leave that. I can now start that. Right, I'm just going to look on my other screen and make sure that my checklist is good to go. Obviously, I should have checked everything down there was in the right position before I added power. Obvious first mistake. Right, okay, so I know where I'm parked. Uh, We've powered up. Da, 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 da. Let's have a look. Yep, okay, so let's um, have a look at the fly pad. Right, let's get the sim brief uh, flight plan in. Okay, Gatwick to Aberdeen. And let's work through this in the normal way. So I'm just going to make a note of my block fuel, which is 5.1, it says there. And into services, let's get people on board. Fuel truck, uh, ground power, baggage, catering, might as well do the lot. Uh, into fuel, okay, so let's download the fuel from the flight plan, which has come in there now. We'll go fast rather than instant and get that moving, so we're defueling slightly. Payload, I should have 40 passengers, I'm downloading that again from Simbrief, so that's come in there, which is good, and let's get them moving. Pushback, uh, let's just get that ready to go. And then that's it on here for the minute. I'm just going back to my uh, checklist. Okay, we've done configure flyer plan. We've uh, done sim brief. Uh, okay, people are getting on, etc., etc. Right back to the top panel. And APU bleed goes to on. Cabin crew oxygen goes to on the seatbelt sign I'm going to put on now I should put it on once fueling is complete I'm assuming it is I'm going to lock the door boarding completed it's boarding complete as well so I can start removing the fuel uh, uh, air bridge in a moment and then we are my next thing to do is to configure navigraph which is just off screen so let's import from simbrief and it's this one at the top here Okay, so what's this telling me? It's saying we're two six left, and I'll confirm that off ATIS in a minute. And it says I should be expecting, well, not expecting, I've planned for the Lamborn six mic departure, uh, but I, I won't put that into the MCDU until the controller tells me that that is indeed uh, what I'm going to be flying. Okay, back to the uh, checklist. Okay, V pilots. I have already connected. Golf Oscar Papa Lima Mike. Uh, just about to join the ILS uh, Dimi Arc for the Mike T1 at Alkin. Uh, 1,800 feet being out. Okay, so yes, I've already connected, not in observer mode this time, unlike how we finished off uh, the last video. So I'm just going to copy my flight plan from Simbrief. I did this earlier, so all the bits on the left-hand side are similar, although that off-block time is not correct. What time are we now? 15.45. I'm going to say 15. 15.50. Everything else should be correct. 
Okay, so flight plan file, that's come up there. We should be ready from that side of things. Okay, back to my checklist. Okay, submit flight plan, check ATIS. Right, so two ways we can check ATIS. Uh, we can look on here, and we can click into ATIS like that and get the text version. Um, that's fueling complete. And let's do it because it is part of that sim. Wrong button. Is go to the frequencies and look up Gatwick Atis E uh, Echo Golf Kilo Kilo Atis. I QNH one zero one one. Acknowledge receipt of information Echo, and advise aircraft type on first contact. Okay, there we go then. Um, so two six left echo. in use. I'm going to turn Time that off one now. five two zero Zulu. Runway in use. But he will read out the entire ATIS for you. So I'm looking back at the text, uh, which is information echo, which he has just said. Uh, runway in use is two six left. Uh, low visibility procedures in force. Okay, transition level seven five. That's standard. Uh, QNH one zero one one. And that is information echo, which we've said, so we will tell him that on first contact. So, let's get ready for that first contact. And let's see what we've got here in terms of top down. So, center, we might, yes, we're going to get departures. We've got tower, we've got ground, we've got ATIS. So, let's tune ground. Okay, so that is done. I'm just going to check on here that when I press my transmit button, yeah, that illuminates. That's good, so I know I'm transmitting. Okay, just going to. Speedbird 901, four wheel fully ready. Uh, Speedbird 9014, stand 106, push and start through, face east. Push and start approved, face east, Speedbird 9014. Okay, so the initial phraseology is uh, aircraft type, stand, information code, and the IFR clearance you are looking for. Garrick Ground, Speedbird 51 Tango, A320 Neo, stand 21 with information echo, requesting IFR clearance to Aberdeen. Uh, Speedbird 51 Tango, you're cleared Aberdeen. It will be the Lambon 6 Mike departure, runway 26 left, squawk 7734. Uh, we're clear to Aberdeen, Lambourne 6 Mike, departure for runway 26 left, squawking 7734, Speedbird 51 Tango. Speedbird 51 Tango, we back correct. Okay, so. Speedbird 65 Juliet, radio check. Speedbird 65 Juliet, we back, uh, readability 5. Okay, so he has now issued me my clearance, and it is the Lambourne 6 Mike. Lambourne 6 Mike, he's given me a squawk and I'm trying Tom to speak. Jet, uh, <laughs> one nine at Alpha Tango, uh, can you just uh, confirm your squawking 2151? Trying to speak quickly in between transmissions, so I'm putting my squawk in there, 7734. Uh, the next thing I'm going to um, do uh, is... Tom Jet, one nine at Alpha Tango, you, you gave me the squawk 7560. So I'm looking at my Lambour 6 uh, mic departure and I can see that 6,000 feet is the altitude limit on there, although we will be subject to constraints on the way out. Okay, so that's in there. Uh, Tom and then we're looking at the Alpha Tango, uh, apologies, seems there's a spin of squawk change. You just uh, squawk 2151. So I'm um, uh, 5 no problem, Tom Jet 1 and Alpha Tango. Okay, so I'm going to whiz through this because, as I said, this is not a call and start demo, this is only a traffic demo, so... Okay, so diff uh, uh, I didn't do the data. Sorry, I did do the data, oh. aircraft status, this is wrong, yeah, the wrong air rack, but that's where you should look for the correct air rack. Uh, so, uh, broken. Request. Let's go for that, let's get it in there. Okay, flight plan. Okay. Just getting that into uh, plan. So, Tom Jet 1 and Alpha Tango requesting push and start. 20 for the minute. And uh, let's get our. Uh, Tom Jet 1 9 Alpha here. Tango. Can Two, you just confirm left. your squawking mode, Charlie? 
Uh, we are on Scott a to Charlie, uh, six mic. Uh, which I shall insert there, and that should come up there, which it has done. Happy days. Alpine 6 kilo Juliet should be better Let's now. Let's run up just to make sure it's all correct. Uh, Alpine 6 kilo Juliet, uh, readability is 5 now. And I need to move that, uh, remove Perfect. that discontinuity. Alpine 6 kilo Juliet requesting I-5 claims to parish shall be all. We're on stand 1, 4, 0, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, 3, 4, Kilo Juliet to look. standby for reboot. That's absolutely fine. Okay. Billboard right. Niner one four. We are ready to taxi. So there's no second flight plan. The radio navigation I'm not too concerned about for the sake of this exercise. I'll obviously check RLS when we get to Aberdeen. Although we're not going all the way to Aberdeen, we're just going to do the departure uh, into Perth. Okay. Uh, so Speedbird Niner one four taxi holding point Alpha three one way two six left via Papa and Alpha November. Okay, I'm not going to put in flex to 10, I'm just going to get Taxi these speeds Taxi to in. runway 26 left via Papa and Alpha November, holding oh. point Alpha 3, Speedbird 9 or 14. Uh, hang on, I've missed a second. Atas, uh, CZ, Tempo, Ray, Delta, request push, and 105. Easy, 74, X-Ray, Delta, after the uh, British Airways A320 passes your okay, left to yeah, right, uh, push to start is approved, facing east. Beyond the speed red pushing start approved facing east, you see now seven first three delta. Speedbird six five red, red gate one three, if we should on board seven and seven dash nine, putting up clock turns to Oslo. Okay, well I've not done it in that sequence before because that sequence is wrong. But I think, um, you are cleared to Oslo. I've got my V1 number and I'm happy with that. That might be perfectly done, but that will do us for today. So that is cleared Oslo. Run one mic departure. Complete. Seven six one one six adjacent. Okay. Back to the flight uh, pad. Speedbird six five Juliet. We back correct. And let's get rid of everything here. Quick look outside to make sure it's all moving. Okay, cool. Ground power unit. Still connected. That's because the wire is still connected. Okay, right. Right. Let's quick look around the cockpit, make sure we're all good. Okay, I'm happy with the brightness. Let's get the correct Q and H in there by pressing B constraints. That should be on ARC arc. I will stick that to 10 miles. We've got the climb level in there. Happy with that. Happy with all this down here. We'll set the brakes uh, to max a little bit later. Happy with all this down here. Just working our way around before we go up to the top panel. Okay, external power disconnect. Let's go back to the fly pad. And hopefully that will now go. Okay, uh, where were you? External power disconnect, fuel pumps on. Beacon light on. Don't put smoking on him, are you? Okay. Uh, I'm not going to do the fire test today in the interest of time. Right, so we are now good to go. Uh, Speedbird 914, contact tower now, 124 decimal 230, have a good flight. Thank you, contact okay, tower 124 decimal 230, have a nice day. The way, which they are. I'm going to go back to services. Alpine so. 6 Kilo Juliet, so I'm going to send you a reboot in text. Copy that, easy 6 Kilo Juliet. Speed with, uh, sorry, uh, 5 1 Tango, ready for push and start. Uh, speed with 5 1 Tango, push and start, crew face west. Push and start, crew facing west, speed with 5 1 Tango. Tomjet 1 Man Alpha Tango, is it okay now? Okay, right. Uh, negative, it's still showing that you're not squawking. Let's go. Parking brake off. Moving rearwards. Let's get engine two starting. Okay, back to my check sheet. Okay. Is this M4X Delta? Request taxi. 
Easy 7480 Delta, taxi holding point Alpha 2 via Papa for runway 26 left Speed via Papa and Alpha Sierra. Here. Papa okay. Alpha Sierra holding point Alpha 2, runway 26 left, Easy 7480. Sure, those vehicles will stop for me. Tom Z1 9 Rafa Tanko, I pushed on Ident and mode Charlie. I don't know why it's not, not coming through your system. Um, Tom Jet, one nine at Alpha Tango, just check that it is two one five one. It's going to take up a little bit. No, that's probably too much. This is not going to be perfect, but it will do. Not the attitude, I know. Uh, Speedbird 65 Juliet. Uh, okay, park and brake on. Get on the tank. Is approved facing west. Okay. Approved facing west. Thank you. Right. So Let's just wait for that second engine to come up. And then we can carry uh, on with the after start. Get one nine at Alpha Tango, stand one eight. Push to start proof facing east. Push to start the proof facing east. Uh, Tom just one nine at Alpha Tango. Thank you. Easy seven four X ray Delta. Contact tower now one two four decimal two three zero. See. Ya. One two four two three is seven four X ray Delta. Good morning. Okay, uh, there we Alpine are. Alpine so. six kilo Juliet. Um, I've sent you a uh, reroute. Can you accept that one? No, if you bleed, can I can take that easy. Alpine six kilo Juliet. If you can go off. Uh, Alpine six Taxi kilo Juliet. Then you're on. cleared to Paris. It will be the Hardy one X-ray departure. And we're two six left. Squawk uh, four seven five zero. One. While I'm here, I'm going to put the. I'm going to arm the. Spurs. All right. Uh, I'll find six two Juliet. Okay. Squawk, back to four my seven five zero two six left. Hardy one X-ray departure. Alpine 6 Kilo Juliet, to be back is correct. Speed by 4, uh, 5 1 Tango is ready for taxi. Speedbird 5 1 Tango, taxi to holding point Alpha 3 via November and Alpha November. Taxi Alpha 3 via November and Alpha November. Speedbird 5 1 Tango. Okay, so there we go. Holding point Alpha 3, runway 26, left hand via November and Alpha November. So let's just pull this over here for a second. There I am. I'm going to go down Kilo, left up November, then Alpha November to Alpha 3. So down here. Right, okay, let's get going. Easy 62 Alpine 62 Juliet with a sun push. Breaks off. Alpine 6 Kilo Juliet, can you just confirm the squawk is 4750? Squawking uh, 4750. Alpine 6 Kilo Juliet. Alpine 6 Kilo Juliet. Uh, six <laughs> Alpine 6 Kilo Juliet push and start is crew facing east. Facing east, the Alpine 6 Kilo Juliet. Okay, so I've got some checks to do as soon as I have a moment when I'm around the corner, I'll do those. why it's quite handy to have a second pilot. Right. 
What have I got? Flight controls. Okay, again, for the sake of this exercise, I'm going to assume they're done. Transponder, TCAS. Let's get TCAS selected, which is there. Flight please prepare for takeoff. Just make sure we're not going astray. Let's go slow down a little bit. Okay, pressure we've got 1011. Lights we shall put on in a moment. Flaps I know are set. Right, I've got to concentrate. Let's go. So, now we're going to the left. Um, speedbird 5-1 Tango, contact tower now, 124.230, have a good flight. 24230, perfect. Right. Speedbird 5-1 Tango, contact tower now, 124.230, have a good flight. Speedbird 658, we have to restart because of some technical issues. Do you still have our IFR on them? Right. Can't do uh, Speedbird 65 Juliet, uh, so, if um, your clearance is still the frame on mic departure when we're 26 left two, four, with a two, squawk three. of 7. For x ray Delta, contact non control 1 to 9 decimal 4 3 zero. enjoy your flight. Gatwick Tower, Speedbird 51 Tango with you. Speedbird 51 Tango, Gatwick Tower, hello, by Alpha 1, runway 26 left, clear for takeoff, surface wind 330 degrees 7 knots. Fire off a one, clear for takeoff, uh, two six left, and wind is coming to be bird for one. Okay, so I've been given a takeoff clearance straight away, and I've still got checks to do, but I'm round the corner here. I am going to get round the corner and then just slow down, give me a chance to do my remaining checks, which is mainly just to get lights on. Auto break as well, Max. Let's get the lights going. And a call. Ooh. You know what I said about excusing the mistakes. Okay, we have been clear for takeoff. Good afternoon, KLM 1 is 6, uh, 2 left. KLM 196, Gatwick Tower, hello, runway 26 left, clear to land, surface wind 330 three degrees 7 knots. Okay, that's 10 degrees. Speedbird 5-1, Tango contact, London Control, 129, decimal 430, enjoy your flight. 129, 430, we'll go to Speedbird 5-1, Tango. So that's the handoff. Again, it would be great if I had two pilots, because you need multiple hands, but let's engage your autopilot, priorities, it can do its thing, and let me come over here, uh, 129430. X-ray Delta, climb flat level 290. So well, uh, come again for the the controller gives an instruction to another aircraft, don't try and put in. Climb flight level 290 and uh, request uh, speed restrictions cancelling for XC743 Alpha. XC74 X-ray Delta, high speed approved. High speed approved, thank you very much, XC743 Alpha. 
Garrix, be with 5 1 Tango with you. Give it 5 1 Tango, London, Roger. Report your passing altitude, climb now, flat level 130. We're at level at 4000, I'm climbing to flat level 130. Speed with 5 1 Tango. Okay, so the 4000 uh, initial stop was the uh, Lambda 16 Mike initial climb out. Uh, restriction. Air Canada 865, climb flat level 240. But if the controller then gives you a further climb, then uh, you can obviously comply with that and dispense with the other climb restrictions on the SID. But you uh, still need to the climb. SID profile. Six point six, they are holding short, uh, due to all the issues that are not going to be able to find much. 6 4 4 X ray London, Roger. Via Alpha 4, runway 7 right clear takeoff, surface wind 3 4 0 3 5 0. Flight level 75 is the transition level, so that's the point at which you should swap across to the standard altimeter setting of 1013. Climb at 9014, climb flat level 290. Climb flat level 290, speed course 914. Shuttle release, I'll be following the heading 3 degrees. Speed 51 Tango, turn left, heading 3 6 degrees. Left heading 360, speed bird 5 1 Tango. Okay, so I've just had a control instruction there. Top left, 37 Axe landing, left with a no delay. So no I am departing from the again, Tom Jet 37 Axe Ray. Tom Jet 37 Axe Ray landing, 26 left, no delay. Roger, thank you, landing 26 left, no delay, Tom Jet 37 Axe Ray. Okay, through 10,000, so we can... And London uh, Control, Speedbird 412, Mike. Spoiler, let's get Speedbird 412, Mike, go ahead. Yeah, just after a radio check, but by the fact that we can hear you and you can hear me, I'm guessing it's 5. Hey, firm, read about 5. I'll leave them on that for a minute. Speedbird 51 Tango, climb flat level 190. Climb flat level 190, Speedbird 51 Tango. Okay. Instruction received, read it back as it's set. Comma Jet 37 X ray, flight heading 285. Flight heading 285, Tom Jet 37 X ray. Sun Patrol, Alpine 62 Juliet, Hardy 1 X departure, just took off runway 26 left, climb 4,000 feet. Okay, so... I'll fly at 6 Kilo Juliet London Roger, climb now flat level 170. Hopefully that's been of some use. Uh, flat level 170 is uh, I'll find 6 Kilo Juliet. I think the best way to learn is to observe uh, for a while on all of these frequencies, but um, there is obviously phraseology that needs to be learnt. Uh, learn all the basic stuff from CAP413. Uh, and learn the basic uh, approaching point Titan. Stephen 113, uh, London, Roger, hold Alpha 3. But also, if you're not hold clear on three, something, if you don't understand, then speak in plain English. Don't get hung up on having to come out with the right sequence of words. Plain English is more than acceptable, uh, and it's better to be safe. Stephen 914, you can continue Unicom 122 Malay. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Unicom 122 Malay. Have a nice day. So Unicom is that frequency when uh, that you are sent to when the next sector that you're flying into. Tango, resume own navigation direct at Brookman's Park, Bravo, Papa Kilo. Brookman's Park, uh, speed of 500. Okay, so I've just been given direct to Brookman's Park. Top of the X-ray descent, to altitude 6,000 feet, QNH. Three digits, Gatwick, Bravo, Papa one, Kilo. Zero, one, one. Descent to 6,000 feet, QNH, okay, Gatwick, 1011. Tom, one, one. One, check, please, and X-ray. Speedbird 5-1 Tango, further with Unicom 122-8, Bye-bye. 122-8, thanks very much. Bye-bye. Air Canada 865, further Unicom 122-8, Okay, yeah, there we go. Bye -bye. I think that'll do for this one. Um, um, hopefully, you've learned something now. I've gone across to Unicom. And yeah, Unicom is just another selection on the flypad there, but everything will go silent. Um, Unicom as a whole 
different world, especially if there's no air traffic, you know, all sorts of aircraft can be on unicom around an airfield and you end up sequencing yourself and that sort of thing. Uh, but that's not for now. Okay, I hope that's been of some use. Uh, I will probably do another one from a different airfield, just a different uh, demonstration uh, pretty soon. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye for now.